Hello and welcome to Web Learning, where knowledge is shared. Today I'm going to show you the performance of the ISDS 205X. I recently bought it because I needed something I can carry around with me to some of the projects that I'm doing. And also I wanted some logic analyzer. So I bought this instrument. You can watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos on how to use it, but I'm going to test the performance of it. I'm going to test the ISDS 205X with a function generator Tabor 1824 that I have. It's an old model but it works quite well and I'm going to inject 10 kilohertz frequency up to 3 or 4 megahertz frequency and then I'll see the response coming out from the device. Uh, there is a lot of background noise because the Tabor itself has a big fan and it makes a lot of white noise. If you want to buy the ISDS 205X, I left a web link in the description. So this is the software of ISDS. I have set the Tabor to 10 kHz. I'll turn it on. I'll click Auto. As you can see, the frequency is 10 kHz and it's quite stable. I also compared it to my Regal DS1104B that I have. Waveform is very close to what I'm getting out of the Tabor. I'll start whipping the frequency up. Now wait one megahertz. Now you can see the waveform is starting to deform. It's supposed to be up to 2 megahertz. There's an even bigger deformity. We are now at 2 megahertz. Three megahertz. and 4 megahertz. I'll come back to 2 megahertz back down. Okay, and I'm going to change the waveform type where it's a sine wave, 2 megahertz wave, 2 megahertz triangular, 2 megahertz square, 2 megahertz pulse, and 2 megahertz ramp. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click below to subscribe. Let me know if you have any comments, questions or remarks. Thank you.